Martin, Kyungishan, Dojian. All right, guys, here we go. The map is Calm Before the Storm, and in the upper right part of that map is our yellow Terran player from the Team Empire. He needs to win this game, or Empire is out of Team Arena Challenge number two. It all rests on the shoulders of Empire Happy. And down at the bottom of the map, the player that wants to get the win and send his team onto the next round of the lower bracket, it is none other than GSL champion NS Hoso Jock G. Yeah, and what a guy to be able to bring in and clear up players like Violet. So, yeah, um, yeah we're going to see what this map holds for us. Rotationally symmetrical, it looks like Jock G is going to have a little bit better access to the pocket expansion if he decides to go the uh, the route, the backdoor expansion, I guess I should say. Yep. Um, and you usually see some pretty crazy expand builds on this map because of its size. So he could be in store for a nice long TBT. Yeah, well, like I mentioned before the break, this is a map that you can see a large variety of styles on just because you have that option of expanding very aggressively, but the map also isn't so big that you don't have any chance to do any sort of early push or early aggression. Mm -hmm. Of course, with uh, Terran versus Terran, there's always the possibility of Banshees and drops as well. Those can cover space very quickly. And Happy is going to go for a Barracks, but it uh, looks like Jokji is actually planning on skipping that and going CC first. Yep, not too surprising. CC first is a pretty common opening on this map. We usually see players like a Marine King is a good example of a player that likes to do that on these bigger maps. Yeah, we saw that the other night. Startail versus right. Prime as well. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what uh, Jachi's going to follow this up with because it could be uh, some sort of a career. I mean, we saw Koss actually. Uh, now that was, of course, in a TVZ environment against Seal, but decided to go command center and then uh or actually barracks command center command center so yeah that might be a little bit risky to do in tvt <laughs> but you know we could still see a third command center pretty quick we still do sometimes every once in a while and happy he is uh opting for that gasless fast expand but of course gonna have that barracks out so we can start that orbital command and get a couple of marines on the field yep yeah marines are nice yes they're they okay are. yeah pretty good i'm so i'm told that's right Second command center being started right now for Happy in just a moment. Yep, there we go. Did just start. Yes, it did. There it is. All right, so uh, he's already got his first orbital command finishing up, though. His opponent, on the other hand, Jokji, just getting through his first barracks and going into gas right afterwards. So uh, not going to delay on that any longer. Yeah, not two gas either. So that kind of makes me wonder if we're going to maybe see some reactor and Hellions out of our blue Terran player. We'll have to see what he decides to do. But... He has basically shown us that he doesn't want to do any sort of really, really quick teching or anything like that. He's going to tech up at kind of a normal rate here. And Happy sees that uh, Barracks finishing up at the front, so we should know that there's an expansion. He's going to check on it just in case, but he does see the exact timing on those orbital commands. Yep, and uh, two gas going up for Empire Happy. So whether that will be a later Cloak Banshee timing or just a way to get his factory out really, really quick and then kind of go into a more techy happy route mm -hmm. remains to be seen. Yeah, as he could uh, could go into mech after that as well, but yep. we'll certainly find out as well, Happy retreating now away as uh, Marine chasing him out, shooing him away from his base. Yeah, man, SCVs aren't welcome here unless they're blue. <laughs> Dr. Seuss could totally write a book about that. <laughs> One yep. fish, two fish, blue SCV, ah, yellow third SCV. Third command center, check it out. Yeah. All right. So, so he's yeah. actually going after the, well, not quite the same that cost at TBZ, but it is still a variation of barracks, command center, command center. Yep, this way he will have some tech coming up after this, which will help him keep a little bit safer. But Jokji's going to be in a position where, you know, depending on what he does, he can get in there and possibly do some damage. And, uh, yeah, okay, so there's a factory, kind of yeah. like what we said. I wonder if we're going to see something potentially like uh, reactor tellings from both of these guys. It looks like we're going to see some Marines out of Jokji and uh, probably Banshee. But Happy is making that reactor and a factory as well. Now, he might just make a starport to get a Viking out against any potential Banshees, or he might swap that out over and get some Hellions, maybe try to get into his opponent's base. Yeah, I was wondering what he was going to burn his excess minerals on, though, because it was past that time after he double gas that he would have started barracks number two and three. So, uh, and obviously it would have been a while before you would have been able to start his factory, but a third command center certainly makes sense there. Now, uh, Jokji, he does build a tech lab for the starport. He's going to float that over and land that right now. He will have enough gas very soon for Cloak, if he so desires. Let's see if he starts that first. He is, and going to go into a Banshee after that. Yeah, these a little bit later Cloak Banshee timings are really, really popular in Korea. They have been for the last couple months or so, maybe even a little bit longer than that now. But 
there was a time where everybody kind of knew all the Cloak Banshee timings, and then people started doing these really fast expand builds, and so Terrence figured out, hey, if I just get Cloak Banshees later on, I can hit at a time where they might not have any scans saved up, I can do some damage. Now, obviously, in Happy's case, he's going to be in the best position to combat this because he's going to have three orbital commands. Yes. It's going to be very rare, and he's going to have a Viking, as we can see, too. So it's going to be very rare that he'll run into a situation where he won't have the energy to respond to these Banshees. Yep, so he's going to have the triple orbital commands. Oh, let's uh, actually see. Scan, does he? Oh, he does see the third command see if he center. cancels Cloak after seeing that, too. Yeah, some people would. After seeing that third command center, they're going to be like, all right, well... This cloak may not be too handy, but does he know about the expansion down at the bottom? He's got to know. I, I would figure he would assume, uh, because especially with the amount of stuff that's sitting out there. Yeah. And he should have seen the engineering bay coming up as well. He might have so. seen a building, too. But no, he doesn't cancel cloak. He's going to go for it anyway. Interesting. That, that makes me wonder if we're going to see uh, if we're going to see Jokshi go, well, no, he's not going to go mech, because he does have more barracks on the way. All right. Yeah, well, Just let's stick with cloak. See if he, uh, yeah. See if he just goes with it here. Uh, do we have any missile turrets coming up for now? No, we do not. This Viking though is going to get a pretty effective scout around. So we'll see the third command center coming out of Jokji as well. There are no missile turrets being prepared quite yet. Uh, Happy has actually not seen that Tech Lab st starport quite yet. And now he knows. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that's embarrassing. Happy, we saw you supply drop. Oh, and he doesn't have any energy available. We're going to check this command center as well. No, oh, he's actually no. a considerable distance away. So this Banshee is actually going to pick up a lot of kills. Yes, it will. It's going to really thin out those Marine numbers as well. He's trying to cause Jokshi to think he has a scan. Yeah. Doesn't have one quite yet. Shouldn't be too much longer. And you know what? Cloak might just run out before he has a scan here. Nope, there it is. And the Banshee will go down. And he does pick off a couple more units there. So the what? first one was certainly pretty good. Uh, the second Banshee actually got a couple of kills as well. But now there's a Viking up to draw it away. Let's actually see how many workers were killed. Eight workers killed in total for Jokji. So not, um, you know, he actually does get some pretty good traction done, I guess. Uh, eight well, kills in total. It's okay. Yeah, or 10 kills, I should say. He No, uh, 11. He picked off three Marines as well. Yeah. It'd be much worse if he didn't have that third base coming up right now. You can see both players hitting their thirds at basically the same time. Now, if Jokshi had stayed on two bases and only done that much then, it'd be like, well, was it really, was Cloak and that second Banshee really worth it? But since he did get it stirred up behind all this, ended up being out, being okay. Well, both players going into Marine Tank now. A lot of upgrades hitting for them as well. Uh, is Combat Shield already finished? Where's a Marine? Let me see a Marine. There we go. No, Combat Shield oh. is not done yet for Happy. So uh, Jokshi slightly ahead in his upgrades. We do have, I'm sorry, the other way around, I, I read those backwards. It's actually Happy who's slightly ahead in his upgrades, and he does actually have double engineering bay down as well. Yep, that's right, and Happy's going to need that too. I mean, he's going to have less units. He's going to be a little bit behind, so anything he can do to kind of make his units go farther is going to be quite helpful here. So I do like the decision to go with the double engineering bay, and oh, the Viking finds the Banshee. Yeah. Not even enough energy to cloak. Well, no, never mind. It does. Yeah, but just for I looked 10 at it right as it cloaked, away. and I'm like looking at the bottom of the screen. I'm like, oh, it doesn't have enough energy to cloak. <laughs> then I look up, and it's because it just cloaked. <laughs> because it had just cloaked. Right. Yes, but uh, it's going to take a while for it to recover some energy now. Uh, pretty good air control from Happy as he is patrolling around with the Vikings and such. Back over on uh, Jokshi's side, I gotta say this man has been macroing like a beast. Though he put up his third orbital it's command late, he put up his third orbital command later. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I'll, I'll buy that argument. I really will. Um, you know, but he put up his third orbital command a little bit later. He's ahead by 40 supply right now at the 12-minute mark. Yeah, man, Jokshi's macro is definitely one of the best in StarCraft too at the moment. Uh -huh. Very, very few people can keep up with him, so not too surprising to see him at this point. Unit counting station shows that Jokji slightly back in workers. He has a 33 Marine advantage right now. Yeah. 33. It's a lot of Marines. That might be handy here when he decides to push, which will be right now as well. Timing that out with Stim, he's going to have 1-1 one, one as well. Might yeah. have vehicle weapons, level 1 by the time he gets there at the same time. So Happy is going to need to really show off his positioning skills to hold off this push, I think. I believe he does have a superior tank out. Well, barely, though. It's only 6-5 to five right now, but he is going after plus 1 weapons, which will certainly help win him that war. Um, plus 1 uh, yep. vehicle weapons not on the way for Jock G. In uh, that's fact, right, yeah. he's just getting now plus getting 1 armor. Now you're getting me confused, armor. man. Yes. I was looking at the wrong one now. <laughs> Let's see here as uh, Jokji pushing ahead. Now this Banshee could certainly be worth its weight in gold as he is going to start trying to go after a couple of Sea Shanks or so, I would imagine. No, oh. actually Cloak just going to run out in a second. Yep. Ooh. 
Banshee does die. And uh, Jokshi just actually pulling back to a little bit more defensive position. That Marine just uh, standing in there and taking those siege tank shots. Oh, he's okay. Taunting. Now he has his medevac behind him, so. Let's it's see. Like, why do I have a shield in space? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. I guess that's what you sound like when you're in space and running away. <laughs> that's right. I don't know. It was terrible. Everything you say kind of fades off. <laughs> We're in space. I'm hungry. <laughs> why do I have a shield? There's a scan going down. The sensor tower is being placed as well basically everywhere across the map so jockshi will that's actually kind of a cool position for a sensor tower for jockshi though yeah absolutely um, he'll be able to detect any troop movement of happies well we'll see if he decides to try to put in sort of a container if he does let's push wow he's pushing yes he is all right wow he just thinks he has a marine advantage does he have enough though i don't know these tanks on the high ground have certainly done quite a bit as yeah. well he does push the line back he's uh close that gap in supply though to not that much to be perfectly honest he's up still by 20 workers but now he's down by four tanks yeah i don't know man i don't know if that was worth it there he lost a lot of marines and look at that though happy really really high on minerals right now his macro is certainly yes. starting to slip a little bit you can tell jock g's in his head right now why is he not he's freaking him out barracks that's what i want to know why is he not using those barracks? Yes. Uh, mean, that's a good question. Yeah, he has. He's got a farm of them sitting around. Two Marines. Yeah, he could quickly go up to two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve Marines at a time if he wanted to. Well, we can't see the hotkeys, but it's possible that he just doesn't have them all hotkeyed very properly. Possible, yeah. I, you know, everybody has that happen every once in a while where mm -hmm. you're like, why can't I make so much stuff? And then you're like, oh, I forgot the hotkey. <laughs> this thing. Yeah. StarCraft two problems. All right, well, uh, Jockji in just a second is going to be able to pick up on his sensor tower, the drop moving its way over to the right-hand side. So we'll see if he's able to move back and pick up on that. Looks like he is stimming yep. backwards right now. That is an awfully large drop. We'll see how quickly uh, Happy can get these tanks sieged up because otherwise they're going to fall pretty quickly. One goes down, and a couple more going to fall here in a second as well. Three, and then there's the four. It did kill a lot of workers, though. Yeah, that's right. He did get a good amount of SCVs, and if you look at the supply, things not being too bad, really. Mm -hmm. All in all. And, oh, no, Happy just not. Okay, now finally producing 10 Marines at a time, so he was still 53 Marines down in total, but uh, huh. finally starting that production. Yep. Happy, though, pretty much contained at three bases right now, while Jockji could decide to try to take a fourth if he wants to. Oh, like, another big drop coming out for Happy. We'll see if this is going to be successful as Marines are already starting to move in position with a good number of missile turrets as well. I believe that was Happy scan. Let's see. Yes, and he sees that defensive position sets up immediately. Moves. Never mind. He had turned around there for a second. I think he's just making up his mind at the moment. Yeah, well, I mean, there are some missile turrets down along that flight path now and a bunch of Marines, so it's a good thing he didn't decide to do that. Well, let's see now as uh, Jokji does have his fourth command center finished up. Looks like the same for Happy as well, but Happy is pretty well contained at the moment. Yep. Jokji has got a great position around the top right-hand corner of the map. Yep. Pretty much the only question here is how is Jokji going to try to get the edge in this case? You know, is he just going to starve his opponent out and make his opponent attack him and then remax that way? Or is he going to try to just break in here in a moment? I don't know. He's got another base. Uh, he will be the recipient of fourth base here in just a second. He will be able to uh, really increase his resource advantage. And a right, bit of a standoff at the moment. Those uh, medevacs not going to find a lot of traction. They move off to the left. There's Vikings waiting for him. They move off to the right. They'll fly through missile turrets. Yep. Oh, here we go. It looks like a Viking on Viking war at the oh, moment. Man. Oh, and he will be able to drop down a good portion of his units. He delayed for just long enough to get all of his units down. Jokshi losing his uh, losing his Vikings there. And yeah. Happy, looks like he broke out of that contain at least just a little bit. Losing his air advantage, too. Really nicely done. Oh, but does he have enough units to hold this off? It doesn't look like it. Jokshi just powering his way in here. Yeah, and he is going to push his way through. Happy does get that entire force cleaned up. He unseized with everything else over at his natural, and good thing Jokshi didn't catch that right away. Otherwise, that would have been a lot of dead siege tanks. Well, so many command centers being made by Happy, too. I mean, he really wants to try to expand here, I guess. Uh -huh. Both players getting upgrades as well. Ghost and a nuke on the way for Happy. I was nice. wondering when I saw that Ghost Academy, and I think a nuke push in this case would be a good answer. Oh, yeah. He needs to do something, anything to push back those force off of the middle of the map. So. Yep. All right, so Jokshi's still pretty well prepared for drops. He's not utilized this fourth base quite yet. He does have a fifth coming up as well. They actually just finished up now. Yep, that's right. Now, Jokshi, I wonder if he's going to try to expand across the bottom of the map now. We'll have to see. 
Oh, another drop coming up for Happy. And Jokji does see it. Oh, what, what was that? Something just like flew across the map there. It's like <laughs> somebody's head or something, I think. Yay, physics engine. Yeah. Uh, all right, both players are basically maxed. I will say, though, that Jokji does not really have a large bank of resources, so. Not uh, really, no. He, he is the recipient of yet another mining base, though, so that's going to catch up and equalize very, very quickly. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There's a nuke. All right. And is Jokji going to react to this? It doesn't look like it quite yet. He might Jokji. lose a couple tanks here. Oh, Jokji. Oh, Jokji you've got to reacting. get away right now. We have an engagement off to the left. We'll watch that here in just a second, but the nuke is going to hit. Oh, Boom. That Siege was big. tanks go down. Jokji is going to crush this army on the left-hand side, but he yep. just lost a good portion of his units up at the front. And Empire, uh, Empire Happy takes that as a cue to move out. Yep. And will Jokji be able to get it in time? No, he's just going to lose those tanks. Oh, wow. And Happy throughout all of that really only pushed about five inches forward there with everything and he did lose you know another big drop as well that's a pretty critical five inches though and he was able to uh to remax very very quickly because of his banked resources oh he is just gonna oh, push he's out gonna he's gonna flanked. go for it oh but marines coming in from all sides a couple of tanks have already gone down but now the tanks are sieged up for happy and that is gonna force jockey back actually getting the worst of that initial engagement there so happy yeah. slowly pushing his way out of this well, he has to be careful now. He has no Marines to buffer, so he does have to be very choosy about when he decides to do this, but he does have a nice big tank advantage at this part of the map anyway. Yes, he does, and look at that. Jokji is retreating. Yep. And that is going to uh, allow a path to open up for Happy to take uh, the left side of the map. And actually, Jokji, you know, he's a, he's a little bit exposed on this base at the top right-hand corner now. Happy's yeah. going to try and move in and take that out. Yeah, no kidding. He's actually running all the SCVs away right now, and it looks like he barely, barely escapes with those. Yeah, nice job there. Oh, Jokji's going to trap Happy's army, though, it looks like, if he's not careful. Yes, he is. He's going to swing it at some units from the side as well. There's just Ooh. one ghost with it. It's a few Marines killed there, unfortunately, still up by uh, 20, but Happy does have an eight tank advantage now. Yep. And I think he's just going to put, yeah, he's just going to put as many as he can in medivacs, all of them fitting in medivacs and taking them home. Lucky you. Interesting. All right, so Jokshi going to try and reclaim this position. He'll probably float back that command center, I assume. Yes, the driver's like, I, I just got this all the way back home. I and also taking uh. that expansion on the bottom, too, so. Yes. Jokshi's still uh, looking like he'll be able to get a little bit of an economic boost here soon, but Happy, for now, has a little bit of the supply advantage. All right, one tank for about six Marines there, but, uh, oh, we got to watch out. Medivac, where are you going? All right, well, he's going to die. Um, Suicidal Medivac, all right. Ooh, Jokshi loses a few more units as well. Really got to be careful there. Ha uh, Happy has actually not taken his next base, though. He's slowly going through the destructible rocks, yep. but he's not been able to secure his fourth, and he is mined out of his natural and his main, getting very low on his third. He's uh, going to go through his bank of available resources very quickly. Yeah, pretty incredible how Happy has been able to kind of hang on in this game though i mean breaking out forcing jockey to move around there was a drop that went into happy's third base i don't know what happened to it i think it i think it just died yeah yeah killed a few workers yeah. though so not too bad Ooh, nice job he does have the air position one there's another nuke there's a nuke another and being produced right after this jockey you know with jockey not reacting i've got to imagine okay now he does see it okay, okay. sometimes when you have the korean players playing on a client a client that they don't recognize the nuke sound oh who see just up first oh it Jokji was Jokji. gets the first volley yes he does uh now his opponent is on three weapons upgrades jockey is just on two jockey yep. has lost the air advantage but it looks like he does come out the better of that engagement we do have this uh, next command center barry to sit itself down though and the fourth mm -hmm. yeah so jockey Trying to push ahead here. Oh, I don't know if this is the right decision. Jokji, this looks like he's just going to try to go for it. All right, well, he does uh, punch through the first line. Yes, he does, barely, but he does make it through. Both players on 140 supply to 133 now. Of course, the bank resources advantage does go to Happy, um, and he is finally establishing his fourth mining base. Jokji has not restarted this one, but he does have a base down at the uh, 6 o'clock position. Yeah, you know, I was half expecting to Jokji, have Jokji go ahead and try to drop in the main after that. Uh-huh. With all those Marines, you know, knowing he had killed all the tanks like that might not have been a bad idea at all. Because right now, Happy's getting that fourth base up and running, possibly. See That'll here keep is... in the game for a little while longer, at least. Happy just barely clinging to life. Whoa, that is a lot of SCVs. That's, That's two full pages. That's 48 SCVs that are making their way across. Wow. Do we have any long distance binding? I guess we do. Looks like another oh. command center floating over there. Oh, but Jokji may be able to catch this. Yep. 
And Jockey with a bit of a supply lead now because he does have, for the moment anyway, a slightly better economy. He can use all his production buildings. Making almost pure Marines now, though. He does still have those 14 tanks, but he's really filling out the ranks with Marines. Well, that's kind of the thing. I mean, he knows he's got the tank advantage, so priorities really should be Marines at this point. That's really what's going to let him buffer and win. And, oh, he's got to watch out for that Viking. Yep. Yep, and it looks like he's going to chase that down, Very though. Very nice. Kills it. Very well done. And, oh, man, all those SCVs <laughs> look like they are just hoping that the Marines don't come up and try to fight them. That is a planetary. Yep, so Darkshi is going to go on to this command center. That's an orbital. Oh, that may very well go down. 800 points, 600, 500. It's on fire, but it's going to get out of the range of the Marines. Eventually, 200, 100, and it survives barely. Yeah, but who's going to save the SCVs from those Marines when they go around the other side? Yeah, no kidding. Oh, but a base does go down for Jockshi. Happy wow. with a nice kill there. Uh, going back to this drop, however, yeah, that's the SCVs you were talking about. It looks like the command center will eventually fall. Yep, dies this time. Some players trading command centers. Both players on even bases right now, actually. Uh -huh. After much trading of <laughs> units and forces. That is true. Much trading indeed. But 198 supply to oh, 167. Look at the middle of the map. That's bad for SCVs. Yes, it is. Bullets are generally harmful. <laughs> it's bad for SCVs anywhere. Yeah. Uh, and they do make it back to the planetary, though. Some of them do anyway. All right. Let's see here. That's uh, I, What's the siege tank count right now? I'm feeling deja vu. But uh, it's 19 to 16 now okay. in favor of Happy. Definitely feeling deja vu, though, as uh, Happy once again stuck inside of his third. That is one ridiculous siege tank wall up yep. for Jokji. This is reminding me of the, some of the TVTs from like early last year where it was all just big siege tank lines every single game, mm -hmm. you know? And he's actually going to drop those Marines right behind the range of the planetary. Yeah, SCV should be able to clean that up fairly easily, though. Yeah, oh, wow, actually took a little bit of uh, splash damage there from the planetary because of the one that was extended a little bit too far. But this one here with the medevac, it's going to be wow. pretty difficult for him to go ahead and heal that up. At the same time, Jokshi's going to make his way and push with oh, that man. siege tank there. That Marine can't be killed. Oh, here comes the nuke, though, from Happy. Oh, my God. Jokshi needs to react to this. Jokji is not reacting to this. Jokji! Oh, oh no! Is he going to get away in time? The nuke's just about to land, and it is going to land and hit almost nothing. Yeah. Jokji oh, just barely close. gets away in time. These Marines still oh, just man. tearing through SEVs. Now 43 workers killed. 3-3 three, three Marines. I guess all you need to do is just drop one, and it can kill infinity SCVs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that, that is actually pretty staggering. So a few uh, Marines going down for Jokji on the left-hand side. Empire... Uh, happy trying to break out one more time. He finally does that kill Marine that, man. but look at these 15 kills and 11 kills. All right, they're finally going to go down. Yeah, those Marines were heroes in my book, man. <laughs> they were, though. All right, 41 workers oh, to 55. Oh, my in. God. Jokji just took a huge loss there. All of his Marines were just wiped out. Happy now has enough resources. For dropping some Marines on the tanks, though, too. Yes, he has, but a nice unseason time for Happy, and he is able to clear all of that up. Yep. Oh, man. Okay, what a ridiculous back and forth there. Are these tanks in range? They are, if he could get a little bit of vision. It looks like he is just going to drop on top of himself. So once again, back and forth. Jockey with a small advantage as he now does have an extra mining base over his opponent. But my god, this is back and forth. It's been one of the most messy TVTs I've seen yeah. in a long time here. Happy doing such a great job of just clinging to life here. I mean, Jockey, I'm surprised we haven't seen him take more bases here. He, I think he just kind of planned on killing his opponent by now, but it's getting to the point where he's going to need to worry about not having enough economy to sustain what he wants to make. And it looks like Jokshi hears that nuke, though, so he's yep. going to get away. This tank was just kind of sliding back and forth, ice skating, if you will, and that nuke's going to land harmlessly. That's right. All right, so let's see here now is uh, there's not another nuke per... Well, I thought he had multiple ghost academies. I could be crazy, but I don't see any, so... Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look as Jokji has mined out all three of his original bases. He's mining pretty well over here on the right-hand side of the map. And this one down at the bottom left-hand corner is at about half, a little bit under, actually about 35 to 40% of the available minerals left. Yeah, still definitely doing okay. Probably wants to take those gases fairly soon as well. And this Marine is going to alert Jokji right away that there is another command center hanging out there. Yep, looks like he's swinging around with a few units there. Yep. We'll see if Happy can get away with a couple of units of his own maybe to reinforce that position. Those SCVs are actually going to have to go after this uh, Marine here. But we know what 3-3 Marines do to SCVs, but no medevac support, and that is one dead Marine eventually. Yep, eventually. Oh. 
Another nuke pushing Jokji back even farther. Mm -hmm. And Jokji's got to have a plan for this. It looks like he might be able to kill this command center in the upper left. Yes, he is. Running up with a lot of units right now. Uh, there's nothing really to defend for Happy. And the yeah. command center is going to fall. Three through the rings go through a command center so quickly. And he's going to kill a ton of SCVs with this as well. Yes, he is. Looks like he's probably going to prioritize those in a second. Well, they're not going anywhere, actually. That's just a lot of dead units. Yep. Is there another new kidding? There is. The ghosts went down, though. And, uh, yep, those SCVs are all going to die. Yeah. Marines just slaughtering the poor helpless SCVs. Oh, that's just hard to watch. And now Jokchi getting a pretty decent lead here. I don't think that Happy's going to be able to take this next base. It was pretty impressive that he was able to come out and take that fourth, actually, and push Jokchi back like that. Mm -hmm. But I think Jokchi's just got too much of a big lockdown on this game. But, you know, it is TVT. It is Marine Tank. Yeah. And there's a possibility that one of these players might make a mistake that could change the game. Oh, hey, a nuke the other direction oh. this time. It's actually yep. set up for Jokchi, and Happy is going to have to move away. So nuking <laughs> back and forth now. And uh, let's see here. looks like, yeah, those Vikings are far enough away. They shouldn't take too much. Oh my god, if he had actually kept that nuke going, he would have been fine, but he actually canceled it at the last second to start moving up some units. Looks like Happy took advantage of that, but now another nuke is about to hit. No. Jokchi's like, all right, flattened. you want to use nukes? Let me huh. show you how to nuke push. All right, well, double Whoa. nukes now. One on the left-hand side. We'll see if we get one in return on the right-hand side as well. Cloaking is not uh, done for Jokchi. 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 Jokchi not hey, paying attention. Hey. Oh, no. Oh, oh this no. could be big. Oh, okay. It actually, Only losing one tank. That yeah, was Marines one, man. way too close, yeah. Yeah, you need those Marines to buffer against that siege tank damage. So, yeah, that was that was about to be a bit of a dangerous situation if you would have lost that big group of Marines. Standard 37-minute TBT incoming. Yes. <laughs> Multiple nukes going down. Looks like this one Getting is to eventually in. going to uh, force away Happy, and it looks like it does, but a couple tanks siege up on the left-hand side are enough to prevent Jokji from moving up too far. Yep. Oh, man, this is just like the most tense situation in a TVT ever. Both players nuking each other, and it's a game of chicken. Happy has to unsiege, and that's going to let Jokji move up as well. Yes, it is. We'll see how quickly he decides to. He could. Is he going to let the nuke land this time? Yes, he, yes, does. he is. Oh, baiting Happy back in. Did some damage to the tanks. Yeah. Another nuke going down. This is ridiculous. And one on the oh, left-hand wow. side. This is Jock G's nuke. <laughs> this is Happy's nuke. So this is uh, no one's going to be able to uh, settle on this stretch first? of land. Let's see. Oh. Oh, Happy's not going to get oh, affected. Oh, no. Jock G, look uh -oh. out, man. Oh. Loses a few tanks up at the front. Two more get critically injured. Loses a couple of SCVs yeah. as well. I need Mule to do some repairing. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that was actually Happy's. He wanted to cause some uh, some fire on his opponent there. Yep, he saw Jokchi on siege for just a moment to try to get Happy to move in. Yes. And it looks like Jokchi wants to move ahead in position again. This is so good. <laughs> this is so ridiculous back and forth. Looks like this one will eventually yeah. move Happy back a little bit, but he's doing a very nice job of uh, not overreacting to it. Loses one oh, tank. Down at now. the lower left part of the map in the meantime, a little bit of a, looks like, I thought it was a drop from Happy. Yeah, I thought there was, could have sworn yeah, there it was looks like, there It looks from. like it was because there's some damage oh, okay. taken to this command center. So didn't end up working out though. Another nuke. Nukes from both players again. Well, no, I These actually look like two nukes from Jokchi, though. Yeah, I think this is two Jokchi nukes, and it looks like that's going to force both sets of units oh, yeah, back. Absolutely. So those could get canceled. We'll see if uh, Jokchi moves up. No, he does not. He does cancel the nuke. Yeah. Move up, but. Yeah, with Jokchi taking complete control of that side I of the map. I think so. I think. Uh, well, this time a nuke from Happy. Yeah. Jokchi needs again to react to this. He scans. He sees where the ghost is, but he needs to be back. Oh, looks like Happy's going for it. This is the moment. Is he going to nuke his own army? No, 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 oh, no. He canceled. Close. Just in time. He's going to try oh, and man. push, though. There's not a lot of siege tanks left for Jokchi, admittedly, but he does have a good number of Marines. It looks like, though, that Happy is able to at least offer a slight defensive position, but Jokchi, eh, let's see if he has enough wow. left over. He's got to start swinging in some units from other parts of the map. Yeah, Happy definitely won that fight there. Jokchi, how many, what's the army count for both of these players right now? Let's see here. So it's it's pretty good. Actually, if you take out the workers. Two tanks. Yeah, if you take out the workers, though, the army size is identical. Wow. All right. Well, 
Happy's still threatening, I guess, in this game, and that is a lot of tanks. Jokshi doesn't really have a lot to handle this now. A lot of these tanks have taken damage as well. Jokshi doing the smart thing, pulling back, just not even engaging. Yeah. And so Happy needs to play defensively. He can't just go right for the kill at this point as much as he no. wants to. His tanks are at too low health. He needs to take a base. He needs to get back in the game economically. And even if he does, it's going to be tough. Jokji is just taking over the entire bottom part of the map right now. Yes, he is. But Happy is staying alive very impressively. All right. Uh oh, well, Jockey's oh, actually boy. sieged up here. We're, uh, here's our next standoff, it looks like. Yep. It's going to be on the middle of the map now. Jockey actually choosing to move back a little bit. And so we're going to have a little Ooh. bit of a back and forth war now where the Vikings will try to get a couple shots on the medevacs, and then the Marines will move forward in the siege tank fire. So yep. uh, let's go ahead and take a look, though. Jockey is actually unseized. He does have a couple of units over here on the left hand side threatening this new orbital command. And uh, here comes Jockey now with a few units swinging around to take that out. Yeah, that's been the strength of Jockey this entire game able to kind of spare the units to go out and take out these satellite expansions from Empire Happy. Yeah. Happy though having so many tanks right now is still dangerous. Oh, but the command center goes down. Jokji eliminating yet another one of Happy's chances for surviving in this game. Uh oh, and, and we have some units swinging flank. around. Oh, he's really got to watch out. No, nope, can't tear ooh, off ooh. there. He's just got to go for it. And it looks like Jokji takes some fire, though, so that wasn't as successful as he would have yeah. liked. It is going to force Happy to react, though. Yep. There's going to be a bit of a drop here. Jokji doing some damage. He's got a few tanks, so he's going to kill a couple Marines and things like that. But I don't know, not really accomplishing a whole lot otherwise with this. Not really. I mean, uh, may take out another Orbital Command here or something yep. along those lines. Which, uh, which actually is admittedly a pretty good win for him because those mules were flashing us about the only thing Happy has. But Jokji has actually got a big force in the middle of the map right now, and he was starting to move up. Oh, ooh, into ooh, Happy's tank range. Some damage suffered there. Yep. Yep. So Jokji, despite everything he's losing, though, his economy is just so much better. I mean, if we look at the income tab right now, it should show Jokji well ahead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well ahead right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Yep. Seven mules down as and well. He's got two pretty nukes. Good. So I think, you know, despite the efforts of Happy, and they were impressive efforts too, yes. Jokji has just got too much of a lead in this game at this point. It looks yeah, like not even it's... bothering to re-expand there. Yeah, let's see here. I mean, yeah, Jokji's got a mining base down at the bottom left-hand corner. Actually, all three of them. Mm -hmm. yeah, what a great cool. TVT, though. This game is awesome. Yeah, this game has been back and forth. I think Happy had his chances, but uh, yeah. Jokji's been... That contain was a little bit too strong, you know? I think so. Happy had to sit on three bases just a little bit too long. Yeah, I mean, despite the fact that, yeah, Jokji has been ahead the entire time, it's just been really, I I don't know, man. I mean, even if Happy loses this game, which it looks like he's probably going to, oh, man, that's, that hurts. Um, yeah, even if he is probably going to lose this game, I, I have been more than entertained and impressed by this guy. All right, well, we'll see uh, now if Happy can do anything to try and come back from this. There is the Unsiege. It looks like Jokji is going to move up a little bit. That ghost just looking threatening, not really doing anything. Sorbital Command actually staying alive for a little bit. We're going to need to see some repair action here, though. As No, it looks like Happy's actually just going to move away. Another nuke going down probably in the middle again. Yep. Mm -hmm. Forcing Happy to pick up and move back, which is exactly what he's going to do. No choice, really, yep. fortunately. Uh-oh, and it looks like Jokshi's just going to go for it. Stims up, decides to move yep. forward. That's uh, quite a few siege tanks up for Happy still, but he is starting to power through the left-hand side of the map. He is uh, sacrificing a little bit, but look at this. I mean, Happy has literally no economy. He can't reproduce any of these forces. Man, and Happy with a big drop on the left side of the map as well, going after this planetary. Yeah. Oops, putting one tank a little bit too close there, but he is going to definitely cause Jokshi some strife. Yes, he is. Um, and Jokji, though, just so far ahead, nearly 100 supply at this point. Yeah, just down by one tank, but up by 12 Marines. And, uh, of course, the rest of the supply is reflected in the worker count. He has 11 mules down at the same time right now as well. Yeah, you notice, too, Jokji is the only one making anything right now. Happy, yeah. like, actually has no mining. He's only getting gas, which, unfortunately, doesn't really help you a whole lot. No, not at all. Finally, personal cloaking coming up for those ghosts, though. And, oh, that's not good. And Jokji takes out the yep. rest of Happy's forces. Looks like another uh, set of units swinging down to the bottom left-hand corner. Jokji actually going to try and intercept this. Nope, doesn't really have the power to do so. Mm -hmm. Might lose that command center. Looks like he will. Possible. And not sure if he's going to counterattack yeah. or what he's going to do. But, yeah, it looks like things are going to get wrapped up here pretty soon. 
Happy has just not been able to get any traction done. And look at this, more Marines swinging up now to go ahead and deny this base again. Happy swinging in with a few, well, nope, those are SCVs. Those aren't attack units. Well, he's swinging in with those SCVs <laughs> to do some mining. You know, Happy's army in the lower left, it is still a threatening army, but Jokji has just got way too much stuff now. He's 130 supply ahead, mm -hmm. so despite the amount of tanks, I mean, Jokji could literally just throw units at him now yes. and just win through sheer attrition. Yes, he could, as a matter of fact. So yep. 60 supply into 200, and guys, it looks like through all of this that uh, Ennis Hosa is actually going to take this game. They so. are going to knock Empire out of the Here tournament. Ennis Hosa maybe going to move on to face Startail, surrounding the rest of those forces. Happy's got nothing left. There's the GG, wow. and Empire has gone down. Ennis Hosa, congratulations. You are advancing to loser's round four to play Startail. Yeah.